All right, guys, so this template is just about done. We just need to um, add a couple things to um, to the responsive version. So what we need to do is create some media queries. So what I'm going to do is create an, another SCSS file um, inside of layouts, and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it underscore mobile.scss. All right, and in there we're going to create a couple media queries. Um, actually, basically we're only we only need one and it's going to be for tablets and under. Okay, so the screen size of a tablet and under. Most tablets range around uh, 768 pixels. All right, so we're going to say media And um, so max width is going to be 768. All right, so let's just check this out. And don't forget to add that to your main file. All right, so let's make this smaller. So the menu is good. Okay, the the showcase looks good. Uh, this search bar I would like to center in the middle. So it has a class of search. And what I'm going to do is change the display to inline block and then uh, text align center. All right, let's see if that does anything. All right, so now that's in the middle. The blocks look good. Uh, the list, I'd like to put um, a little margin underneath to separate it from that image. So we'll say list actually just list itself margin bottom 20 pixels uh, actually you know what we don't we want it uh, for the button shoot um, you know what let's do it for the image we'll give the image a margin top so device margin top. All right. And let's see. Okay, so for this, for this image here, we need to make it smaller and we need to change the, um, the negative margin that we have. So it had a class of device small. And we'll set margin bottom to 20 pixels. And let's make that important. And I want these to be aligned to the center. So for the device class, I'm going to display block and set margin to auto actually we need margin top 20 so let me just uh, say 20 auto auto all right so that's in the center and then for the footer list I guess we could just put some margin underneath so footer main uh, ul we want to say margin bottom 20 pixels ok 
okay. We could even text align center. And for the H3s as well, I think those are H3. Actually, we should be nesting these. Maybe they're H4s. Alright. Alright, so that looks good to me. If we go to the About page, Carousel looks good, works. Tabs, uh, Accordion. The images for the team are full screen, are full width. Testimonial looks good, Blocks, Footer. Alright, so everything seems to look good. Services tabs blog these here comments um, we need to just add a clear class uh, in the HTML so if we go to blog and we want to find the comments and then here we'll just say div class equals clear fix and just put those in between the list items and that'll clear the flow okay and then we'll just go to scss base and we'll put it in the normalize Okay, we can just say clear both. And also add um, to those list items, we want to add an overflow. So let me just go to modules list, uh, not list, typography. And I'm just going to set it for all list items. So overflow auto. Um, hmm. That's not doing it. List comments, overflow auto, important. There we go. Okay, contact, map, form looks good boxes all right so that's it um, I realized that that took quite a bit of time to build um, actually hold one more thing here we have this login link oh never mind all right so looks good um, I hope you enjoyed this series and Hopefully you learned a lot and you can take some of these, uh, take some of what you've learned and incorporate them into your uh, development. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.